Okay, let's flip over here. Let's see if my connections are all there. Yes, they are. Good. All right, let's start over here. First, I want to start a little uh, workload here. And uh, I want to bring up this performance monitor. This is the first. So you saw me starting the workload hitting six different shares. These six different shares, they are in two different nodes of a cluster. And I'm hitting both nodes at the same time. You see there? There is a single client hitting the scale out cluster. Before this, I was actually only going to one of them. I would pick one and use that one. Now I'm hitting both, right? That alone is the per share redirection I was talking about. And I can show you here that I have two, two nodes in this cluster, right? A1 and A2. And then if you look at my disks, you see that I have a few here, A1, A2, A3. And they're spread across the different nodes. And you see, I have my witness, and then I have three disks in one node, three disks on another node, right? That is not an accident. And that was not something that I actually asked it to do. This is a new capability in CSV that says, when you do this stuff, automatically split the CSVs across the nodes. You don't have to do it, it just happens, okay? That's fine. Now, what I want to do, I want to add a node to this cluster. Now, I could do it here in favor of a cluster manager, but you know what? For the first time, the VMM team is working side by side with us, right? So in the last release, kind of we release and then VMM comes like a little while after, right? So now we're working in, in, in sync. And I can show you that I can manage this file server from VMM right now. So if you look here, have you seen this before? Th there's some great stuff here, I, that if, you, if you don't mind. So if you go here to the create, I have now the create file server cluster. This is awesome. You can actually, from VMM, go here and say, yeah, I want to create one. And it says, oh, do you already have the server or do you want to bare metal provision the server? Right? So this kind of stuff is entirely new in 2012R2 for VMM. And it also manages the spaces behind. So we have a provider that does the spaces piece. But let me focus here on what I, what I came here to do. So you see my six shares are there. And I got my nodes. If I go here and look at my cluster nodes, you see I have two. I'm going to go ahead and say, let's add a node here to this cluster. And what it's going to do, right, if you're familiar with VMM, you know you have to go to the jobs thing here. And it's essentially going to manage this whole thing for me. It's going to go ahead and say, okay, so I need to add a node to this cluster, so I'm going to deploy my agent. I'm going to make sure that I have the right roles installed, that the failover clustering feature is there, and then I'm going to add this node to the cluster. And now I can do this whole thing from VMM. How about that? Okay? So that is a new capability. All right. But uh, that's going to take a little while. So that's the end result. We got our third node in the cluster. And what happened is automatically CSV rebalanced the cluster, right? Put two CSVs on each node. And the SMB client said, oh, the CSVs moved. I'd better move with it. So now, because I have six different shares, 
they spread across the cluster, and my single client is now hitting all three nodes. And uh, bonus points here, I can go ahead and go back. And to kind of demonstrate my transparent failover, which in a sense I already did, but I can go ahead and say, I want to remove this from the cluster now. I'm that fickle, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to let VMM remove that node from the cluster. And what will happen is I have a client talking to three nodes. One of the nodes is going to be evicted from the cluster. I'm going to be remaining two nodes. I'll we'll have two nodes remaining in the cluster. That is a non-event in terms of the workload. The workload moves around, the CSVs move, and the workload just stays there, okay? It's just a regular operation in your data center. That's the kind of power that transparent failover can give you, right? You don't care. As long as there's one node remaining, I'm fine. I'll keep going. There it goes. It just rebalances. You see it? On the way out, is a little faster because it's just, as soon as you plug it, it has to rebalance. But that's it. Okay? Cool. Let's come back to slides. So that's what we saw. We went from a two-node cluster to a three-node cluster. And not only CSV rebalanced, but the SMB scale-out server rebalanced. And never forgetting that we can now do per share scale-out, not uh, per client scale-out, right?